The 120 Hertz update for the Oculus Quest 2 came out as I upload this about five days ago, but still not many standalone apps have actually been updated to use it, and it's probably going to stay that way for a while, at least until 120 Hertz is out of experimental mode. But I prefer PC gaming anyway, so let's take a look at how to stream 120 Hertz VR from a powerful PC to your Quest 2 over your already existing Wi-Fi network. As of right now, ALVR hasn't been officially updated to support 120Hz properly. Uh, they thought they did, but turns out something went wrong when the update actually came out. Get to installing it. First, get sidelink from the description and actually follow all of these steps. Don't just download it here. Although, to be clear, you should download it there. Then also get the client APK which you can find also in the description, and you're going to be installing this to your Quest. So once you have SideQuest installed and set up, connect your Quest and click on this little arrow in the top right. Then go to where you have the APK, double click it and it will start installing. I don't have my Quest on, I'm just recording this after the fact, but it will install into the headset. Although if you already have ALVR installed, you're going to have to uninstall it first. Now download the server files from the description and extract them to somewhere you want to keep them permanently. Since this build is not available as an installer yet, so if you want you can just put it into your program files folder and call it a day, but once you have it wherever you want, uh, make a shortcut to your desktop or if you're feeling really adventurous, uh, maybe even find out how you can make it just part of your start menu like I do. Now, the settings you'll see are the one I personally use, however, for you with just a first time setup, here are the kind of settings you'll want to just have it work. And also when you first launch it, uh, it will tell you about graphics card ca compatibility and things like that, just spam next through that. Set your refresh rate to 120, uh, your resolution, mine is undefined because I have it set up kind of differently, but yours will have a percentage drop down, set it to 100 and your router will basically guaranteed work if you set this to 90. Then enable foveated encoding, set the vertical offset to max, and set the strength to 2. Then we also go to the connection and set it to throttled UDP. If you want to change any other settings you can, however I will leave a link to the ALVR discord where you can find out some more stuff about that but we're just trying to get normal streaming working. Then go to the installations tab, add the firewall rules, and you should be just about done. Go to the quest, go to your apps, then go to the top right, click the drop down menu, scroll down to unknown sources, click on ALVR, then the ALVR app on your PC should restart, and you should be about done. This does also work for the quest one, just only at 72 hertz. You can do a surprising amount of stuff with ALVR, and I do uh, encourage you to go to the Discord uh, and just join the community. It's good people, and it's a good piece of software. 